Hello. So today I decided that I would come out here and make a lunch. Basically a brunch. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs, but I'm gonna make them in a six inch cast iron frying pan that I got from the dollar store. Four dollars. So eager to try this out. I have not tried it. I want to just share it with you using a Bushcraft Essentials stove. It's rather windy out here. So I want to be able to contain those sparks and the fire. So using that, plus the cast iron, little frying pan, and cooking up some uh, scrambled eggs. So what I've got in here is, these are my eggs, plus some butter here, margarine. Now what I did is I cracked the eggs and put them in a baggie. That way there I don't have to worry about eggs breaking. But they're in this baggie right here. What I gotta do is mix them up and dump them into the pan. So I thought that was a cool idea, an easy, effective way to carry my eggs. This here is the fry pan that I was talking about. It's actually a pretty good company that makes it as well. You know, I don't normally do uh, company names and such just because of rights and all that stuff there. This one here, that's why I don't mention the dollar store that I got this from. You know, sorry about that. Check your local dollar store and see if they have them. But uh, it's rather thick as well. We're gonna try this out. I love the ease of this stove. Now all I have to do is break up my pieces and drop them in and build my layers up and fill my stove. Then I can light it and start cooking. I usually put the bigger ones on the bottom, a lot of big ones, and that there allows for a coal base as it starts burning downward. Take those off until later. Burning really well right now. I'm gonna throw on some of the bigger pieces still. So they'll last a little longer, but working great, I can throw my pan on. Just throw my pan on like this. The good thing about being right on the water here, any kind of sparks is going right back into the water. You don't have to worry about it. And also, got a good clearing here that I can watch the sparks. Fire safety, not most important out here. So, now that I have that on there, letting that warm up, I'm going to put some butter in it, some margarine, and I'm gonna use this spoon right here. The spoon right here, Mike Barton gave this to me. 
So shout out to Mike Barton. <laughs> it's not even sticking. Could have made an omelette very easy. I just filled that up one time, the stove, and that's all I'm going to need. A handful of sticks. That's what I love about these type of twig stoves. But as you see, it's not really sticking to this. Working very, very nice. Also notice the coal base on the bottom still providing just enough heat and I filled that once with small finger size and below wood. Very very efficient stove. First off they did not stick at all and I haven't had scrambled eggs in a long time. Pretty tasty. And I can't think of a better spot to have scrambled eggs beside a small brook. So, I want to thank you for watching. Take care. And pretty cool little uh, frying pan and a nice brunch. Stay safe, everyone.